I want to talk to you today about our willingness to conquer the limits that we place on ourselves. Are you willing to conquer the limits that you place on yourself? Are you willing? Sure, a lot of us will say, yeah, of course. You know, I do this. I'll, I'll reach that goal. It's comfortable. Uh, you know, I, I take that action step when I feel strong enough. Or, you know, I'll do that. I, I do that. I reached that goal. It felt good. It was, it was comfortable. It was easy. What about the hard stuff? What about doing the big goal, the big thing? Feeling empowered when it's scary, when there's fear. Do you stop or do you do it anyway? That's the big question. We often will let fear, failure, disappointment shut us down. We let those emotions become bigger, more important than our goal, than our truth, our truth. And I know I talk a lot about a goal, but let's set that aside because sometimes people think out here, right? A goal, I'm gonna get a house and a car and a job. I'm talking about the truth within yourself. You, you living the greatest version of you. That's what I'm talking about. You living the greatest version of you, whatever that looks like. Are you willing to do that even when it gets challenging? Are you willing to take the step? Are you willing to draw up your power and strength to be the best you? So can we take fear, failure, doubt, disappointment and shrink it up? There's a quote, face the thing you fear, do the thing you fear and fear dissipates. We want fear to go away. We do what the thing that's on the other side of fear and fear will go away. It doesn't always go away 100%, but it becomes not the main focus. And then we're focused on the, that thing, who we are, what fills us up, what we have to bring to the world. We have to decide. We have to be willing to take this fear, this failure, this disappointment, put it in a little ball, and set it over here. I don't need you. You're not going to stop me. What do you think of that? Fear does not have to run the show. Our emotions do not have to run the show. We run the show. Our higher state runs the show. So how, right? How, how do we do that? <clears throat> we have our four moves today. Ready, willing, able, now. Are you ready? Are you willing and are you able? And every single one of you can say yes. Because all things are possible. No would mean I'm letting something get in the way. You are a magnificent human being. You have the ability to get to where you want to go, to let your authentic truth shine. It comes down to are you willing? Are you willing? Are you ready? Are you able? How bad do you want it? How bad do you want to live it? That's the question. That's the question. So we take this information, right, and you, and you can pull out your journal, write about it, and think about it, our intellectual mind, feel it, and then we have to activate it. And that's what we're going to do. We activate it with intensity. We activate it by moving the body. So the first thing I want you to do, if you're ready and you're willing and you're able, is to get up. Stand up. Move the body. Let's shake out the body. Like, shake it out. It's like we're... Like we're dusting the corners of the room, we're emptying the closet, and we just gotta like clean things out. So we're just like shaking that stagnant energy, just move it around, just shake it out. Moving stuck energy, energy gets stuck in the body, right? So we just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, kick the legs, shake, shake, shake. We have our four moves today, ready, willing, and able. And we have our affirmations. Are you ready? These are good ones. Fear. So what? Failure. So what? Disappointment. So what? 
I can handle it. I can handle it. So let's take these words and really empower ourselves, draw up the power to activate our words, our emotions and our actions to live our authentic self. Now, we learn in yoga and kundalini yoga, our navel is our power center. So when we move the body, we draw up at the center right here at the navel. We draw up and we activate that energy. And we draw up that energy all up to the throat so we can use our voice and speak our truth. And we practice that here by using our words, right? And we move our body. And we draw that energy now up to that third eye right here, third eye, which is where we can see our truth. We see our magnificent self. And then we step into it. You ready for it? Let's do it. Let's get moving. Make room. As usual, we don't need a lot of room for this. We just need to be willing to get up and move the body. And some music for motivation. Of course, Eye of the Tiger. Eye of the Tiger. Our four moves, ready, willing, and able. I'm gonna show you first and then I'll take you through it. We start to the side. We're just gonna, like we're running in place. Lift that knee. Lift, lift. Make the arms big, big. Because we're ready. We're ready to take action. We're ready to see our power. We're ready to step into it. Pull up in the navel. Let the throat speak your truth. I am ready. Just say that. Repeat. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. Big. Real big. Pull that knee up. Up. In four, three, two, to the center. Pull. Pull. Keep that heel to the back side. Pull. Pull. Grab and pull. Like you're pulling in your power. You're pulling in. All the energy you want, all that you need, all that you decide. I am willing, I am willing, I am willing. Say it like you mean it. I'm willing, I am willing. In four, three, two, other side. Right here, bring your knee up, big hands, big arms. I am able. I am able, I am able. <clears throat> Last move right here. Hold it here. This is warrior pose. And this is now. I am ready, willing, able, now. Got it? Sitting nice and low, feel it. Press through the palms, fingertips up. Smile on your face, makes things easy. Pull in the core. See the energy moving up to your throat. See the energy shooting out of that third eye like a light, a beacon of light shining your way. Good, shake it out. We're gonna do that again. Ready, willing, able now. Then we're gonna add our affirmation. Shake, 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 shake. Feel the energy already? Yeah, here we go, ready? In four, three, two, go. Front, pull it in. To the side. Now, right here. Hold it. Now go. I'm ready. I am willing. I am able. Now. Nod your head, yes, now, go. I am ready. I am willing. I am willing. I am able. I am able. Now. Now let's use our affirmation. Fear, so what? Repeat after me. Failure, so what? Disappointment, so what? I can handle it. Fear, so what? Failure, so what? Disappointment, so what? I can handle it. Fear, so what? Failure, so what? Disappointment, so 
so what? I can handle it. Hold it here. Hold it there. <clears throat> Hold it here. Think about that. Fear, failure, they're information. Information to show you the way, to direct you, like a compass. That's all it is. You decide. Press the palms, sit nice and low. Repeat, a, repeat after me or say it with me. Fear, so what? Failure, so what? Disappointment, so what? I can handle it. I am ready. I am willing. I am able to live my authentic truth now. I am ready, willing, able to live my authentic truth now. Feel it in the core. Draw that energy up, tailbone tucks under. Pull in the navel. Activate the body, up to the throat. Feel the words that you expressed. Gave those words power. What words do you choose to give power to? Third eye, light, shining the way. And just see that for a moment. Just see that. Feel it. Create it within yourself. Inhale, arms up, feet together. Exhale with a big smile. Exhale and shake it out. Great job. Great job. You have the choice today to live your authentic truth. Are you ready? Are you willing? And are you able? Yes, yes. And so it is.